Hey guys, Harrison Wong back at it once again with a brand new video for you and welcome to episode 15 I think it is now? 15 of our Grid Let's Play and the end of Grid Week. Um, it's been a fun little ride over the last seven days and I, all I can say is I really really hope you've enjoyed the week series. Um, <laughs> um, I can, all I can say is I hope you've really enjoyed it. Um, I hope... Thing, I hope uh, you know, you've enjoyed the series so far in general, and um, it's been it's been a long week. But um, this this including this video this is going to take me over 55 hours to render all seven of these videos together combined. They've been a nightmare, um, but overall, um, I'm I'm really glad things have worked out, and you know, it's been a fun ride. Just just, just doing some random looking. Also, I haven't looked anything beyond pro level drivers yet, but uh, yeah. I'm thinking, because this is day seven, I'm thinking an extra long week. An extra long, so an extra long video. I'm thinking three full on series, and then we see what the time is, and we'll, and we'll go from there. So, I'm thinking Europe. And I'm thinking the right hand side of this three. Open wheel, touring cars, prestige. Does that sound good? hope it does. So, let's get down to it. Open wheel, Formula 3. This is going to be fun. Going to 350,000 for the data of Formula 3 vehicle. We will buy that. Let's have a quick look at it, shall we? Look, look at that. Oh, it's like the scarlet red of Ferrari all over again. Even if it's got a massive side bottle on the side of it. I don't know what that's even there for, to be honest. <sighs> because I'm, I'm crazy like that, I'm going to rack it up to extreme. Let's see how extreme compares to the other difficulties. So, let's see how we do here. This, this, this could be interesting. Istanbul Park. Oh god, this dude's copying my paint job. I do not appreciate that one bit. Now, obviously, the difficulty level in grid affects, obviously, how fast the AI go. As well as how many flashbacks you get. At the highest difficulty of extreme, you only get one flashback to use. Compared to... Um, ouch. Got a contact there. So, like I said, the most the lowest difficulty basic you only get you get five flashbacks to play with, and it goes four, three, two down to one for extreme. Full stumble trap or three laps of it. Oh. All, right, All right, cool. So let's see how we fare at this extreme difficulty. Whoa! Guy goes wide. I go a bit wide. I don't get punished for it. So I'm up to fifth, but these guys are quite a long way away. I'm driven this car and I have no idea how, how, like, what kind of limits it's got and whatnot. So I'm still getting used to the car, if anything. This is good. This is this is bound to be interesting. I was way too early on the brakes there. Oh, dude comes down the inside of me. Whoa! What happened there? I know that one, I'm now suddenly in, in second place. Got the inside line and we're through. There must have been some kind of massive pile up there and even Lee Vaughan who was leading got caught in it and was slow to recover and all of a sudden I'm down the lead, hooray! What I saw was a full level Grosjean on there. That's what I called it when there's a pile up on a lap one of a race. That was a full Grosjean, no doubt about it. God, this car is, a, is understeery. Ugh. Vaughn is all over me. Also, check back later tonight. There's definitely going to be an around the corner tonight, too. Um, 
going to be very, very interesting episode, I think. Uh, there's some rivalry, there's some bad blood, and there's some points I've got to hand out. Due to late predictions, I wasn't considering. I'll see what happened um, at the end of the last episode where we were talking about who's going to win the race. But it looks like on Extreme, these guys are definitely following on much, much better. Like, there's four guys within a second of me. I'm trying to shake them, but so far, nothing. Whoa, almost. Spun it there. Got away with it, though. Um, where's everybody gone? Oh my goodness, did they have another crash back there? Madness. In the lead. I'm in the lead. On extreme. I can't believe this luck of mine. But I shall take it and celebrate into the night. Well, I'm well clear. They're nowhere to be seen back there. I can take it easy. Got 3.5 seconds in hand now. Oh, yeah. I would love if Stephen Edmonds got in the top four, but that's not going to happen, is it? His speciality's pro-tuned, which just doesn't exist at this level, really. It's all more powerful stuff from here on in. Obviously, you had, you had Formula 1000 last time. Now we're in Formula 3 cars, that are top-level open-wheel vehicles. And obviously, we're getting, like, Prestige and GT2 and GT1 events now compared to um, stuff like Pro-Tuned and Classic Muscle and all that kind of baby-level stuff like Demolition Derbies as well. So, this is the pro level. This is just the second level. And obviously, there's, there's, there's race stakes, including, uh, obviously, money. Uh, money needed to buy the cars, sponsorship money, all that kind of stuff. But there we go, there's the first race win. Can't believe my luck on that one. One by 4.4 seconds in the end. On extreme, may I point out. Stephen Edmonds down in ninth. <coughs> I love the guy in 10th as well, a guy called David White. I, I went to school with a guy called David White. Hmm. Maybe he secretly worked for Codemasters. Not complaining. Alright, second in the teams. Did some more sponsor rearranging as well, actually, by the way. There was there was better versions of, of um, sponsors that were already around that offered the same basic uh, requirements just for finishing or finishing fifth or shit like that. Where am I starting? Oh, at the back, of course. Why do I have to keep starting from the back? Seriously. I don't get this. And for me to free round here, something is going to go wrong. Look, I can totally see why Formula 1 is not going to Donington ever. One, Silverstone's a great track. Kind of. And two, Donington is way too narrow for one day Formula 1. Like, people would freaking complain. Whoa! How did that guy get past? Around the outside. Up to ninth. Oh, I hit Edmonds. That's not good. Survived. Bit of motocross. We're okay. Those guys are way too slow on the brakes there. Whoa. Up to fifth. I hate Donington, man. Especially the Grand Prix circuit, man. Way too many blind corners. At least it's nice and short, though. Oh, that, that one guy just wiped out there. So now we're up to third. Well, why is he going so slow? Like, even on extreme, these guys are showing weaknesses. Should that really be happening? Whoa! Lee Vaughan just b blazing down the inside of me. Like, seriously, that could have caused a serious accident.
If that's the same Lee Vaughn that spun out earlier, how the hell did he recover so quickly? I'm being a bit naughty here. Sue me. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, Vaughn. Better, better run out of that corner. Just Peters here. Bit of DRS, maybe. <laughs> Oh wow, it's in the corner so much faster than me. And now on the grass, spinning. Okay, time to trigger my one and only flashback. Yeah, Peters had the better line there, but Peters spins it. Goes down into second. I'm getting used to the car a bit now, but this is just not a very fun track with open wheel because you can barely see anything and all the corners are just blind everywhere. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh god, no. When I use my one flashback. Okay, this calls for a restart. <laughs> okay, so much for like an extra long video. You might get an extra long video of me failing instead. Love well, there's an out there as well for lazing to be best of British sausages. Because we would love a little bit of sausage in life. Also, by the way, I did forget to mention you, did, you guys did ask me some questions. I'll get to those after this first championship. Oh my god, that was my teammate too. <laughs> Jesus. It doesn't these camera angles are terrible when it comes to flashbacks, so you have no idea where you are sometimes. Oh, oh, oh minor collision. We're okay. It was concerning that I've already used my flashback like 20 seconds into the race. Let's see what happens here. Got my big boy pants on. Ooh, that, that, was, that was nice. That was nice on the brakes there. Spin up. Hope my teammate didn't get caught in that. Get out of the way. Passed around the outside. I go up to fourth. Got a nice drive out down the corner now, coming up to get Lee Vaughan in the third. Bit of contact, but we're okay. Pushing Vaughan out a little bit there, making sure he can't come back at me. I don't mind third actually, considering. Whoa, a bit wide. We need to grab a little bit there, but we're okay. I didn't even check where the third race was, so this could be interesting to see what the last race could be. If it's in Europe, what other real life tracks is there in the game? I'm trying to think if it's in Europe. Uh, it might be a reverse of one of the two we've already done, I have no idea. Or it might be that one Jaruna, actually. Oh, spinner at the hairpin. John Davis Hutton has a spin. And that's put me right in the firing line of Matthew Jones. Who I take down the inside. It's going way too slow around there. Hooray! That's a 108. Personal best of the wrap round here. Let's see if I can put another lap together to, to secure the win. Forgive the restart, by the way, guys. I do try and keep these to a minimum. Remember, it's just, I mean, I'm just getting used to extreme difficulty as well. I can just about hold my own at this difficulty. But these guys are definitely... I think there's a bit of rubber banding going on here as well, to be honest. 
Like, unless it's some kind of AI-induced mistake, these guys are following me point for point at the moment. I'm going to spun it there, keep the back out, but... I'm not blind, last time I might not almost spin it again, but... We survive and we're going to get the win! There we go! God, this video is already at 15 minutes! Oh my goodness, I might not have time for two here. My bad, I didn't think the recordings, or the recording and whatnot had gone so quickly. My goodness, um... Time to speed up a bit here. We're now leading the team championship too after that result. 2450 for me. Maguire gets 11 grand, which is nice. Final race is at. Oh, Chronic Spa! I like Spa, though, so this should be fun. And I'm actually starting ninth, that's actually respectable. And Edmunds is starting fifth, which is even nicer. Avoid a Grosjean, avoid a Grosjean. Fail. I jinxed it, didn't I? Let's try this again, shall we? Oh god. Well, I did, well, I did, try, I did try to avoid a Grosjean, but it clearly didn't happen, did it? I'll take it, let's go. This guy's going way too slowly. Furo Rouge. Substreaming Toru here. Gaining on him. But not enough to think about a pass. He's getting a substream of Vaughn up top. Gonna run the outside of him? Yes! And Vaughn too! Yes! Gangs double move. I'm sending this one into Ryan LED Freeze overtakes of the week. Oh yeah. Oh god, I'm oversteer that. Went a bit wide and Vaughn will punish me for that. Oh, so wide. Get back here, Vaughn. I think top three should guarantee me the title anyway, but... You want to win, don't you? Again, I do like the grid was one of the first racing games where the AI, where the AI actually made mistakes. It did, it did feel more humanized, but some of them, I think they took it too far in some circumstances where, um, like for example, they make too many mistakes, even on the higher difficulties, and like it makes it easier for you to win. What? Naughty of me a bit there, but. He used all of the track, my friend. He used all of the track. It's Vettel in Germany 2012 all over again on button. <laughs> Alright, down towards Oruz for the second time. God, dude looks amazing from down here. Now I can see why the drivers rave about this corner so much. It's epic. I remember when Kimi Raikkonen last year had won the Harry Award for Overtaker of the Year for his amazing outside pass on Schumacher down there. Uh, basically, an outside, an outside pass at O'Rouge pretty much means you have the definition of what I like to call brass balls. <laughs> okay. A long left hand, and I can't remember what this corner's called. Feeling good, cars feeling good now. I've definitely gotten used to it a bit more now, so it's, it's nicer too. This car is so much fun. Like it's really grown on me in the in the race in the, in the course of this series. I didn't even get, I didn't even get I'd like it as much, but it's really fun to drive actually. I'm still fairly close, still 1.3 seconds behind, so it looks like I'm going to be staying at extreme for, for the foreseeable future. Take it nice and easy for the bus stop, well, the, f the new bus stop I suppose. 
And there we have it. Clean sweep. That was a fun one there. Edmonds came sick. I'll tell you, that's a good result. That might give us the team championship too. Hope it does. And man, we are now at 20 minutes. I think I'm going to dedicate the rest of this video to answering your questions just before we go. And there we go, we win the team, we the team title as well, that's excellent. But, um, yeah. Might sort out my sponsors and uh, sort that out. They can dedicate the rest of the video to that. And again, you get 52,000 reputation points for the European region. So one more will give me the Euro license. Look at that price checks! 375,000! Massive! Sponsors from Leather Suspension, Ulta, and Mintex. Okay, I did say extra long episode, so we're going to do one more series afterwards. Let's just check my uh, team sponsors, see what these new ones are all about. 13,500. See, see, see how these sponsors are so much bigger now? Um. We'll replace the uh, finish the race one with uh, the with the uh, here we go Alta third about damage and let's replace this one with the thirteen five hundred finish no lower than second without damage so let's re let's swap that with the Alpine Stars one I think because that one's also second so we'll put we'll letter in there and get rid of the eighteen hundred feeler. There we go. Okay. A couple of questions from you guys. Um, ask Harrison from Dragon Type Man. What do you think of the fact that if someone wants to become a Formula 1 driver, they have to move to Europe? It's not really fair, but um, let's be honest. There's, there's more Eurosport. There's, there's, there's more F1 appeal by going to Europe. Let's be honest here. You know, a lot of a lot of the major racing tracks of the world are in Europe as well, so it it just comes with the territory really more than anything else. Um, you know, Formula One fans go crazy, for example, like just thinking about the European season, like we're getting with Catalonia in Formula One in a couple of weeks' time, stuff like that, basically. Um, let's have a look here. Um, what else? Um, from Ferrari and UFC 505, do you think that on the F1 calendar there will be more than 20 races in a season? I hope they don't, to be honest, and the reason why I hope they don't is because um, teams like... No, no, by the way, like CCL XR here, by the way, I love that car. Gotta love those crazy Swedes. Um, but uh, answering the question about, like, I know McLaren have already come out and said that they're already at, like at the limit with, with a 20 race season. With seasons as it is, they're going on from like March all the way through to November. And like McLaren said, if the season gets any bigger, they're gonna they're gonna have to start hiring two crews. Um, Paul Foster Daniels asks, uh, if you were an animal, what would you be? I'd be a chicken. Oh crap, Raven West is in an event. Oh snap. Um, will he do a full 24 hours on the Mon from Chaz Bradley? Probably not. <laughs> I'm not that crazy, and it'll probably take me 14 days to render the damn thing. And nobody's got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Anyway, what is there? This is Prestige, which is basically all like supercars and stuff. Basically, like souped up supercars. And I'm. Tried to get used to this Koenigsegg quite quickly. Mainly because it's got more grip than a Zonda, and I've no idea what's going on up here. Well, whatever it is, I'm up to six, I must be doing something right. And this is the shortest damn ball circuit, which is also quite cool, because I like the fact it's short. Whoa! Ow. Took a hit, but the car's fine, so I'm going to keep going. And there's Rick Scott of Ravenwest up ahead of the as we hit 200 miles an hour. 210 miles an hour. What? Spin up. I slam into the side of Rick Scott's vehicle. 
Oh, and look who is in the lead, an old friend of mine, Nathan McCain. Didn't I just whip your ass down a hill? I'll answer a couple more questions um, after this race and in between the load up for the next one, actually. I think there's a couple more I missed out. If I missed one out, just let me know and I'll, and I'll definitely say in the next episode! As I spin out there, uh, that, that was that was not my, my finest hour right there. Got the car's taking a bit of a beating already. I just spent like 800 grand on this thing. Not proud of myself here, to be honest. So this is definitely going to be the longest uh, grid video I've, I've made to date. Could be the longest video I've ever made that's not a live stream either. I think my current record is 35 minutes. Oh my god, a bit bumpy there. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh! This calls for a restart. I have no idea what happened there. Um, we'll call it that. But it could be the longest video I've ever made. Like, the longest video I made normally was, I think... 35 minutes on my first community race on F1 2011, I want to say. I think that was about 35 minutes, and that was the longest I've spent rendering a video. This is just like this is just like it's going to break it. By the time we do three laps of like three different races in this one too, all in, we're looking at about oh, I'd say 37, 38 minutes maybe. And this time I'm up to third, hooray! Enzo Benvenutelli or something like that. Oh god! Another friggin' spin! Whoa, 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 whoa! Got an angry Raven West dude right over the back of me. Rick Scott wants my blood. Did a nice drop to the back of his Honda though. I've got to be careful on the amount of power I put down coming out of a corner, otherwise I'm going to spin this thing again. Now, can I chase down Nathan McCain? For those who haven't already picked up, Raven West are the best team in the game. They have the two best drivers based on reputation in the game. And the fact they're in this event is like, oh my god, Raven West. It's like, imagine this is the grid version of what happens when Michael Schumacher and Ayrton Senna come together to create a Formula 1 team. <laughs> imagine that for a minute. Oh, and like basically Adam Prost is the crew chief. That's what it's like, pretty much. <laughs> oh, man. See, time goes fast when you're doing things like this. Like, I've already been recorded for, for like half an hour now already. It's crazy. Bit much on the brakes there, but I think McCain was even slower going through that corner. Definitely feel like I'm closer. Maybe I'm going to draft him a bit here. Yeah, I'm definitely close. I'm only 0.6 behind him now. Come on, McCain. He always chokes. He's got a bit wide there. Jam down the inside. Oh, yeah. We're through. Or am I? Where's he gone? Did he choke and make a mistake? Or has he just got invisible on me? I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm in the lead. And there he is! He's going to drop me all the way back down this straight. Got to go wide. Got to get defensive. He's not drafting me, though. That might cost him this race. Backs out. And looks like we got it. Take that, McCain, again. I have the measure of the American, clearly. Sweetness. I win, and Edmonds right at the bottom.
fan friggin tastic. So where are we at on the record? We're at 30 minutes. Cool. Um, Alex Zafro, hey man. Uh, asking me, what was the first video you ever uploaded on YouTube? It was a video blog of me playing Dragon Ball Z back in 2008. Just to, just, just to introduce myself. If, if you think that sounds kind of crazy, it is. Trust me. But, um... Yeah. Um, side Sammy asking me, Harrison, can you do face cam with your bro? No. Uh, I'm afraid I can't. I haven't got the technology for it. Um... I'm again gaming UK HD. What is your favourite Formula 1 car of all time? Um, that's a, such a tough question. Um, probably Senna's McLaren. I think seeing it on Top Gear and seeing Lewis Hamilton drive it has made me fall in love with that car. Um, the 07 Ferrari with Kimi Raikkonen is one of my favourites as well. I don't know why, I just, I just love that car and that paint job. And it just clicked with me for some reason. Enzo spins it there. Look, it's nothing. It's a short Nurburgring track as well. But uh, yeah, I think I probably said as McLaren. Um, I can't remember what year it was. Um, I think maybe been '92. I want to say same year I was born, '92. Oh God, was he gone? He could. He just tagged me, and the next thing I know, I'm in the grass. Next thing you know, I've spun out. Hang on a minute. Let me put the flashback right here. I'm going to draft him down here instead. Oh, a bit of a barge there. Whoa! He want to control it. Haha! -ha. And the good news is McCain is not in, is nowhere in the top four. Now I've got to chase down Rick Scott. Whoa, full 360. My bad. I'm going to keep it going because I managed to recover from that quite well, actually. Bit wide. <laughs> you can see I'm getting tired now a little bit. Oh, down the inside. Yep, take that, Palmer Quinn. I got half. I got a lap and a half to chase down Rick Scott. I don't think I'm going to get him in time, to be honest. He's 3.4 seconds back. It's going to take a miracle for me to do this. God damn it! I'm going to try. Oh, I spun it again. Terrible. Oh man, is this, is this another Dre fail off camera? Okay, I'm up to 7th. If I can come back and maybe get a top 5, I'll try it and see what happens anyway. Oh, Edmund spun it. Oh my goodness. We're going to get a repeat of Nelson Piquet's crash gate from Singapore at this rate, aren't we? What? What do you mean there's not a safety car out? He just crashed it! <laughs> oh, God. Whoops. May have been a bit of contact back there. I've no idea where McCain is, though, so... It may not be all that bad for us finishing sixth. Ooh, there's some smoke back there. Maybe somebody binned it. I think somebody did bin it. Fabian Dumont is in the gravel. That's another place for me, so I end up finishing fifth. I'll take that. That's not a bad result, all said and done. McCain came third, so that's not too bad, actually. Let's see the championship standings here. So I'm down by four points on Rick Scott. So if Scott comes second, he wins the title. 
This is going to go down to the wire then, isn't it? Got to win. Got to hope McCain doesn't win. And I've got to hope Rick Scott doesn't get in. Doesn't get in the top two. And they put him on pole for Donington. Of course. Take him out. <laughs> I might have to, you know. This might be a Turkey 2010 job right here. There's the Donington short circuit in reverse. And look at that start. Boom. Oh no, somebody tagged me in the... Oh, for goodness sake. Like, everyone was going slow, but as I was passing somebody, somebody clipped me in the back, and then I'm off, I'm off and into the grass. And by the way, I've, I can't remember the last time I've done Donington in reverse like this. This is going to be scary. And they're playing the dramatic music again, because obviously, if I pass this, I'm already getting the uh, Euro top level license. McCain is, is fourth, that's good news. The bad news is I'm in third and I get, I get a lot of shove there from Enzo. And the guy in second just binned it. That's good news, but I've, I've got to get up to Scott. If Scott wins, he wins the championship. Whoa. Oh, God. Made another clutch mistake. Jesus. That could cost me big. Oh, I'm in grass. Oh. Fourth. I'm somehow still fourth. Gonna keep pushing. Pray for a miracle that Rick Scott bins the car. <laughs> Some smoke back there, maybe something happened. Hang on, there's a car in the gravel. I think that's Severino Paglia that's gone in that's gone in the dirt, so I'm up to third. Only problem is it's Raven West two and three, and I almost spin it again. In fact, I do spin it again. And again. And again. <laughs> yep, I think that's me just about toast, folks. Oh, and I'm in the... That corner is so devilish. Oh, my God. See, this is why I hate Donington. Line corners are just hell. It's even worse when it's in reverse because you have no idea how to really handle it. Oh, man. Okay, let's do a Vettel. Let's set the fastest lap of the race just to make sure. Just because I can. Oh, God! <laughs> this is embarrassing. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not going to restart this. Or am I? They've already won? Okay, screw it. How long was the video at? 39 minutes. Screw it. Let's win it here. I'm not ending this episode on a friggin' loss. Let's go. Maneuver through all this traffic, and then there's that friggin' blind corner there. This one, right here. Gotta get through it smooth. Gotta get through it smooth. There we go. Then there's these two. Paglia and, and 
Demont. There's one. There's the other. There's Raven West lining up to pos uh, lining up for position here. It's like a bit grassy, but we're okay. Edwards is up to fifth, which is quite nice. It's quite a bit of backslider action right there. Oh, and Edmonds has got off. That's terrific news. <laughs> One less guy on my way, I suppose. Another guy's gone wide there. Thanks to Mont again. Bit of backslide there, but look, it's Raven West 1 and 2 up front. We've got to get up there. Like Chael Sonnen, if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down swinging. My only hope is if Raven and West get greedy and take each other out. Okay, man, that fast. Off the chat, has got to get out of the way here. Raven West, why are they fighting each other? Those, are, those two are asking for trouble by bringing me into this. I've kind of got to make sure McCain finishes ahead of Scott. Because if Scott comes second, it doesn't matter what I, if I win or not. Scott's in second. Come on, McCain, hang in there. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying that. This is my last lap. This is the lap of destiny. <laughs> Come on, McCain. Give me a chance. There's Scott. Come on. Come on. I need the move. Oh no, no, no. I've got a flashback, I'm gonna use it now. Andre, listen to me. Go for it. Give it, give it, give it everything. You've got nothing to lose. Just do or die up here. There's Scott, I got him. Come on! I've gone wide! No! 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 Why'd you go for the lead? Oh, shoot. Oh. Mathematically, I just realised something. If McCain had won, and I had come second with Scott third, there would have been a three-way tie, and I would have won. On count back. Bollocks! <sighs> oh, what was I thinking? I got greedy. I had it! Well, <laughs> I hope you guys got some entertainment out of that. I sure as hell did. <laughs> Shoot! Oh man, look, McCain beat Scott on count back. 54 54. We were naming name this episode Duck. Oh god. That was a fail on my part. Epic, epic fail. Third place, and not enough rep to get me the license, I don't think. Or is it actually? I think it might be. Hang on, yes! 250k! Well, how about that? This wasn't a pointless episode after all. Hmm. I know what you're thinking. What is that tier now with one million rep at the top? I'll explain more next episode. We'll collect my money. And 
in the longest product produced video in the history of ATC. Look at that. I've got my world class garage now. How gangster's that? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This will be the longest video I think I'll ever make for Grid. Probably. I don't like making videos this long because it takes a mother to render. But... Oh, let's see. Hang on. There is the Global League. As well as the Euro 8 tier unlocking itself. So, those are the three events at the top of the air license. We'll skip them on quickly just to wrap this video up. That 279 is a driver all time and 77 is a team. Now, this level up here is the global tier. The six events that take place all over the world. To get to this, you have to get one million global reputation, which is everything combined. You have to have one million rep. This is the third level of USA, America, and Japan. So USA, America, and Japan, USA, Europe, and Japan. So we'll get to that down the line. But I hope you guys enjoyed the longest video I've ever made outside of a live stream. We're coming up towards 47 minutes here. This is going to be a marathon to render. Probably a good, what, maybe a 10, 11, 12 hours, I'd say. But I hope, I hope you guys overall have enjoyed Grid Week. Um, it's been a, a pleasure to put these seven videos together in a week. I think you'll excuse me for taking a uh, couple of days off. <laughs> but I um, hope you guys enjoyed the, se the, the series so far, Grid Week, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, and sign out.